Okay, let's keep going. Let's go to Sean. Let's, let's Sean it. Okay. Here we go. I'm here to talk to you today about music, art, fashion. One of the greatest problems that our generations are facing. The biggest scourge, scourge that affects our society against all of the cultural and social progress we've seen is the I battle. Mean, to be fair, like, I did not choose any of these outfits. You know this. Can you attest to this, please? You look like you're from Topanga. Okay, well, regardless, I don't even know what that means, but, like, you know that they just, like, put you the fuck. No, yeah, you're a hanger. Yeah. They, they, they create what they want you to Yeah, be. they put this shit on you, and they're like, just talk, just spit. And I was just like, all right. Yeah. Battle against intellectual. I didn't write anything. I literally did not write oh. anything. Are you, are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war. Like, that's me asking the person unironically, like, are you guys comfortable with this? And them using it in the edit as though I'm like saying, I'm about to say something fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just have all, they have all creative liberty to do whatever the fuck they want with you. Anyway, let's keep going. Are you, are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war against critical thinking, battle against intellectualism. This is a war, war, war against oh. rational behavior. And we're not even aware of it. And that's terrifying. Whew. What kind of an example are we setting? The problem with America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. <laughs> Culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. All it's- It's the like shaky TikTok. Like... I didn't do any of that. Like they did that. And also not only that, but like, what I'm talking about as far as like cultural imperialism is correct. So they just cut up everything you're yeah, saying. Yeah, but because like... it's in a sea of like cringe shit that's been repackaged in a way to make it seem like mega cringe that they thought was fucking chill at the time. <laughs> it, it, like everybody looks at this and goes, fuck the, you, fuck you. With America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. This is just like the fucking 9-11 shit. Everybody years later, comes around to recognizing that I was fucking right, okay? One, Kardashians are lying to you. Two, two, cultural imperialism literally makes the rest of the world like us, okay? It does. Look at the fucking 313 unit. Look at the Taliban, bro. They're wearing fucking skin-tight Oakleys and, like, tactical gear as they're running around in the fucking Karengal Valley. How did that happen? That happened because we left a little bit of ourselves over there, okay? That's the only fucking shit that they pick up from us is just like our consumerist culture and that is the problem. <laughs> culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. All it seeks to do is sedate the masses. Culture now seeks to appeal to our primal urges, our base needs. We're now in the age of mediocrity. You can bring about the positive change you want to see in this world because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Only you can bring about the revolution by taking it to the streets. Keep resisting. Billy Girl is gonna be upset if we don't talk about fashion. You know what I mean? Wow. See? She liked it, to be honest. That was intense. How did you feel after you did that? I mean, when I saw it, I was like, oh god, this is like so cringe. And I never actually showed it because I was like... I never actually like shared it because I felt like it, it was embarrassing. It didn't come across like in the way that I wanted to, um, so. Ben Cope. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Like they were trying their best. It's like, that's the reason why now I only work with like dudes that I know. You know what I yeah. mean? Like if a, if a journalist uh, reaches out and they're like, we want to write a puff piece. I'm <laughs> like, I, I will literally look through their work and see like what their point of view is, what their perspective is. What year was this? This was fucking. Okay, 2017. Yeah. so full dingus year. That was like a time to be stupid. The fuck? Okay. Because dude. I was, no, I'm saying that was the year that I did all this shit. Followed up with the animation here. They also made this. At least this came out of it as a product. This it, is Ben Cope? No, this is some, this is Eamon Animations, Eamon Hawk. He made this uh, animation of me. And this is tight. You will like this because you like weird shit. <laughs> does that look by the way how crazy is it this motherfucker <laughs> this is like actually pretty sick. i'm here to talk to you today about music arts fashion 
one of the greatest problems that our generations are facing. The biggest scourge, scourge. that affects our society against all of the cultural and social progress we've better. seen is the battle against intellectual thought. Are you, are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war against critical thinking, a battle against intellectualism. It's a war, war, war against rational behavior. And we're not even aware of it. And that's terrifying. <laughs> Whew. What kind of an example are we setting? The problem with America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. My head Culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. So that's the meme is that like I have a tiny head. Do I have a tiny head? Be honest. In comparison? I think it's just because your body is so inf like inflated that you looks like you have no neck and like just a tiny head. <laughs> What the f- you made that so much worse, dude! You literally made that so much worse than that had to be. You are- oh my god, is this- is this- Roast me! I, yeah, it's because I roasted you, that's No, why. roast me! I have been with the fucking witch shit, and now you're yeah. just- Yeah. <laughs> you know, kung fu I'm back at me. I'm balancing out the energies, is what I'm doing. Yeah, I fucking hate this. But okay? is this the animator who also did those- like, no, I, no, I feel like I've seen his work. You might have seen his work, yeah. It's like me. Yeah. All it seeks to do is sedate the masses. Culture now seeks to appeal to our <laughs> primal urges, our base needs. We're now in the age of mediocrity. You can bring about the positive change you want to see in this world. Because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Only you can bring about the revolution by taking it to the streets. Keep resisting. So the frogs are supposed to represent fucking my chat. idiots. You absolute fucking morons. Oh. God damn it, I hate you so much when you do this shit, chat. I hate it so fucking much. You're like 12 years old. You fucking fuck! Fuck! Fuck you fucking freak! Anyway. Sam Cedar went off on Shabibo while while he he'll wear a yarmulke, but not a mask. Yeah, it's it's uh, great, dude. Do you watch other YouTubers? Yeah, all the time. Who's your like top five? I don't know. I I hate watch a lot of YouTubers. What is this? Yeah, it's Punished Bernie. No one barrel roll.